Hello everybody, DBD here, and welcome back to episode 2 of State of Decay 2. Let's hop back in, and keep it going. We have Garrett, Kate, and Dion, the Better Angels Enclave. In episode 1, we made very great headway on clearing out our surrounding neighborhood and... ...securing ourselves. Hey, we've been robbed! Stop that thief! We've been robbed, eh? I didn't sign up for this kind of horseshit. Our food stockpile is very low. We could really use some help from you folks. Keep cool. Be there as quick as I can. I appreciate that. Alright, hang on. There's something I have to check. Alright, okay. So I quit the game to the desktop. And all that means is that the game saved after I built the workshop and cancelled it. But it did not save after I did this. So boom, that's it. It was just a saving thing. That is one big blood jug. Oh fuck. All right, it's relatively far away. We should be all right. So yeah, we're good. Uh, no, no punishing glitches happened. We didn't lose a shitload of materials. It just saved before we did it. You can tell by the crossbow. I swapped out our crossbow for the other one before we uh, logged out and ended the last episode. Yeah, we're good. Thank fucking goodness, eh? All right, classic crossbow, 10 of these, and reload. Deposit those materials. We have 18 surplus, and let's just make sure that nobody else has one. There we go. All right. We're doing really well. Now, our food stockpile is very low. We're going to have to get on that soon. That's why, though, somebody stole our shit. So, we're gonna do that There's quest with Kate. Stank in that one. All right. See you around. Let's just give this guy a hiking bag. Equip that. Good luck. All right. Initiating mission. Mm -hmm. This is an easy one. Where are we headed? Down there, eh? Drop your stuff. Don't make me use this. Let's both just bring it down a step or two. All right, let's try not to attract any attention. We're deep in plague territory. It's locked. Figures. <laughs> I wish I could ask that person to unlock the fucking door, eh? Oh, by the way, this bullet benefactor thing we got, fucking beautiful, alright? Not only did we get that supply drop with the free shit, but we're gonna get ammo regularly for free. And, a uh, higher chance of finding guns when searching containers. And zombies may drop ammo. So that's just a threefold fucking incredible thing. Alright, good, we didn't have to jump through a window or slam open a door. All right, asshole, give us our shit. Let's both just bring it down a step or two. Feels good to take out the trash. They won't be bothering us anymore. All right. We'll get this rucksack back to base. And while we're here, since I logged out and logged back in, there's a chance that Feral might not be at that house anymore. I'd like to go check. Looks like the zombies with the glowing blue eyes are the ones who have a chance of dropping ammo. Yeah, no, that's not a thing. All right. Fortunately, we didn't wake up the heart. And now that we're in... We might be able to see them before they see us. Ah. 
Let's find this fourth container and get the fuck out of here. Oh. Looks like nobody else is home. All right. But with a play card around, that won't last. That could have been bad. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, before curveballs were a thing, the game was pretty consistent, but now it can be harder or easier. It just depends on what curveball you get. If you get a black plague heart, like, those things are hard to kill. So, <laughs> yeah. We may have had a fortuitous start, but we are certainly going to be subject to curveballs that make it significantly harder to survive. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. The play card stirred. It hasn't woken up. Our food situation is no longer in the red. Hey, pal. What's new and horrible today? Everything. All right. I'm gonna swap to Garrett again. We need his hero skill soon. Put my feet up for a bit. And since we have powerhouse on him, we can drop kick a zombie, or drop kick a feral, and execute it safely. More or less. You have to land the drop kick, which is kind of risky, but it can be done. Now, let's go meet our new allies. Oh, they're right beside a feral. On the cusp of plague territory, but we can lure that feral outside of plague territory to kill it. Got it. How have you been? With these plague samples, I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us gets infected. We're happy to share the recipe if you need it. Gracias, amigo. Take care now. It's nice to have a friend visiting. <clears throat> All right, job is done. Always glad to see you. <clears throat> Big Hank rifle, huh? Oh, that's tempting. Yo, listen up. Yep. Hey, we really should be out there killing plague hearts. Sure thing. Alright. Now, we have some free time. We gotta use it. Won't be long before the game starts throwing jobs at us. So, what are we doing? How are we spending our time? We do need a cell tower outpost. And Lake Abigail Cell Tower may be a really good option. Alright, so I guess that's our job. Fucking, fucking plague zombies must think they own this town. Where do we go? We travel west. We can loot some gas on the way. took a fucking beating, but that's my fault, honestly. I was the one who speed-searched the container and attracted the heat. Alright. Well, we bought that repair kit. We at least have it. I ain't going home empty-handed, though. We're gonna search that public restroom. And then we're gonna do that warlord job. We need to. 100%.
Yeah, speed searching is just the worst thing. If you think it's safe to speed search, you're always wrong. Unless you have max stealth. I guess stealth. it's kind of useful. Because max stealth pretty much allows you to speed search without the possibility of making a shitload of noise. Definitely changes the game. I have another task for you. Details forthcoming. Mysterious broadcast. That might be important. All right, we got to get out of here quick. We've got a few things we got to do. All right, infirmary too. We now have passive injury healing, which is really nice. Getting your infirmary upgraded to tier two is definitely the first priority for any new community. Locked. I think I've seen everything there is to see. All right, here. let's get out of here. Very close to the hero skill. Stay safe. Warlord weapons for all. That way we can potentially kill one feral without attracting another. And it looks like the sun is rising. Alright, let's go. See what we got here. Sadly, they don't have a 50 cal. Uh, and they only have professional suppressors, which we already have, so I guess it just doesn't really matter anymore. It's shitty, but it is what it is. Anyway, as you can see, you can get a high quality suppressor for 300 bucks as long as you're willing to buy the gun it comes attached to. Definitely recommended. And if I didn't already find that suppressor, I would totally be buying one of those guns. Sometimes they're even advanced suppressors, rather than professional, so... Alright, the mysterious broadcast is down south. Cleo drop, eh? Oh, way down there. All right. Well, we should go grab it, honestly. Could be anything in there. After we've done some scouting, anyway. The game just spawned that horde in right there. Inside. It spawned it in in relation with this quest. I better get out of here quickly before they come over here. Okay, nothing more to see here. All right, let's go. I could loot more, but I'm not gonna. I need to <laughs> save my inventory for the contents of that supply drop, and I have to not die while going there. All right, thousand meters. Let's get it. All right, let's grab this shit. We appreciate your results in this matter. Hmm. 
<laughs> Alright, what'd we get? Uh, an assault rifle. Oh, it's got a built-in silencer. That's pretty fucking cool. Alright, uh, that makes me happy. And we got an advanced break for more firepower. And probably the best bladed weapon in the game, I think. Alright. Now, we're gonna try to loot some food on the way home. Oh, right. We wanted to get Lake Abigail's cell tower, and right now we're close enough to just go do that. Let's do it. Enjoy peace eternal, asshole. There are a lot of restaurants there, but I can't stop safely. There's too many zombies in this area. It's very densely populated. Hey, this isn't plague territory. Alright, I will search this garage and hopefully we'll get a repair kit for our car. we got in here fingers crossed for a repair kit that's what we need all the time Ooh, portable generator that's pretty good And a bike generator. I actually prefer that to the portable generator. Very good. Do I have to kill every zombie myself, people? I think I've searched everywhere I can. Alright, drop the chips. Take the hammer. We got the repair kit that we were after. That's the important thing. Now, straight to Lake Abigail cell tower. No stopping. Except for the potential of getting a food rucksack right here. Okay, no sets around, but we can't secure the place with the plague heart close by. Nice. Alright. We put a little dent in our food problem temporarily. Let's go. Kill it for real. Before they catch up. All right, we're almost clear of plague territory. Place is ours now. And par for the course. This is totally devoid of anything useful. All right. All right, folks. The outpost is up and running. Gonna deposit that shit. Gonna give ourselves a melee weapon. And she can keep the food rucksack on her. It'll save us a slot as whoever we switch to. We gotta switch to Dion, though. Do his traitor mission. Alright. 
And we need our silenced pistol. Now. Alright. We are going to head home. And on the way, we're going to interact with the motel hoppers. If I take out the nearest play guard, this should clear up. Uh... You know what? We need uh, to gas up the car. I don't think we can make it all the way there unless we do. Alright, we're gonna turn right at the pavement, and then left, and then right. Alright, there we go. Our food situation's gotten even better. You know what? It seems quiet. I'm gonna see if I can pop into that restaurant, grab another food ruck. Uh, let's keep that bandage on us. Might need it. Very nice. Good. Another bandage. There's a possibility I could get a repair kit from this place, so it's important to check. Close that door. Chemicals. Parts. Alright, sadly no such luck. Holy fuck. Let's just get out of here. gonna loot this place as well. Because finding extra gas for your car is never a bad thing. Oh yeah, I like that. Nah. Abandoned supply crate somewhere in Hayden Cut. Alright. It's not active yet. Buy a rucksack, huh? Food or ammunition? I'm gonna go with food. Oh, I got a deposit first. And uh, we're gonna buy that toolkit too. Hey, we made good partners. I think they'll give us better prices in the future. And trade is the key to our survival. The crate contains something that is luring the zombies, eh? Uh, I'll definitely buy three Molotovs for 75 bucks. Be right there, buddy. Let me know if there's anything else. I mean, I just want to feel welcome here. If I am, then I'll stay. All right, his morale is back up where it needs to be. We have an overflow of materials that we should use, so we're just going to build a latrine pit for morale purposes. All right. Now we no longer have an overflow of materials. All right, I'm tagging out. You're up. No bolt recovery. All right, let's get down there and help them.
this is that weapons dealing enclave. So we might actually be able to become tight with them, you know? If we help them out, they'll appreciate it. Nice. I'll help you out. Alright, let's go. So, what do you need? Just escort him over there. Oh, I don't want to leave behind that bolt. Yep, that'd be the place. Yeah, well, good luck. Is the game gonna spawn shit and just make it run here? Yeah, it is. Alright, well, you know what? I'm staying out of sight. He can defend himself, I'm sure. All right, time to get out of here. That is way too much smoke. All right. We'll lose him. Shit, beat. This is the place, right? Thank you. All right. We're friendly sure. now. Anytime. Very nice. Goodbye. No 50 cal, but you know, we'll check back at random times. What is that, by the way? I got something you want. You got Thermite. something I want. Okay, sure. Uh, might be good to get that. I'll buy it. Alright, we have three friendly enclaves all clustered up around us. We got our uh, cell tower outpost, which is really useful. Somebody can learn computers. And I was thinking that since we don't like to take Kate out very much, maybe she'll be our computer tech. We've topped up on our bolt supply. We're getting closer and closer to a boosted experience rate. What are we doing? We could go loot this place right here. I think that'd be a good play. Oh, supply drop. All right, uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go get that. Yeah, there wasn't loot in here before. You know what? Maybe the curveball generated loot in there. Where's the container? Here it is. Wow, and it's empty. All right. Well, we came, we saw, we were disappointed, we left. I know where we can get some gas. Okay, we got some gas for our car and we got a rucksack. Not a bad haul. Eh, uh, no actually. Don't take the bridge across. This is one of the outposts that I'm going to want to get. Definitely. 
I may even get it now. Boom. Take a load of your new outpost. If we put some extra time into this place, it could really pay off. You want to create as many checkpoints as possible. As many places as possible to retreat to if you need a plague cure or something like that, you know? Or if you have to sub out characters. It's important. Alright. Fuck, let's just screw the melee weapons. Let's start giving everyone guns. Alright. Now, we'll switch to Dion. Dijon Mustard. Okay. Your ideas aren't just for shit. Now they're pissing me off. I love you too, Kate. <laughs> All right. Now, where are we headed? Wandering trader, red talon supplier. Oh, we got to go all the way back home for that. All right, let's grab this. All right, we got it. Let's get out of here. Bait crate, huh? Let's get the fuck out of here right now. And then uh, we'll go back home that way. There is a place I'd like to take a look at on the way back home. Both of those places. Well, shit, all three of those places could have really bomb stuff. We'll get started on it now and just fill our bags. can of gas. Pipe bomb. Oh. I've never noticed this loop before. that. That's pretty heavy. All right. Come on by. All right, we're going to search that last place later. This shed is the final place we're searching before we go home. Zombie inside. All right. Oh, I get it. There's a zombie inside this container. That's pretty cool, actually. Nice touch. Extra bolts. 22 ammo. Pistol ammo. Pipe bomb. Firecrackers. And more crossbow bolts. And we can take them if we deposit the pipe bomb. All right, we got two of the three places here that I'd like to search. We'll get the other one later. See that? Always at least look down the hill before you drive down. I would have gone straight into that bloater and it would have been a huge problem. Alright, let's get this job done. And we'll have to check the wandering trader. What we really want is a network trader. Uh, we need to buy a signal booster somewhere. And I don't think we're going to get it from the red talon trader, but we can still look anyway. Not today, pal. Ho oh, ho ho, a second bloater. And he is tripping. Nasty. 
We've got one more zombie in that room. All right. There's our container. That scream is gonna drown us in plague zombies. Screamer, where? All right, way over there. Yes, sir. Oh hell yeah. Hmm. All right, let's get out of here and go check out the trader over here. Hello. Hello there. Hello. I represent Red Talon. Take it easy. All right, what do we got? Uh, a lot of rucksacks, some guns. I don't see anything that really screams out to me, though. I mean, sure as shit ain't no 50 cal, right? So, all right, let's get out of here. It was worth looking. Why are you frustrated? You're on latrine duty. And you're done in three minutes. And then, funny enough, she'll be happy after, after she's done latrine duty, so... chance to not be assholes anymore yeah Kate <laughs> all right all right now where are we headed and why we'll need one more uh, team member in order to move into rusty Rosie's Oh, you know what? Yeah, we're looking good on materials, so we're going to upgrade our command center so we can have one more outpost. Alright. Now, I would like to prepare Rusty Rosies for the time that we finally move in. And we're going to get an outpost over here for any time that we visit this area. Probably a food outpost, I'd say. Can one of you folks come over and give us a hand? Oh, looks like we know what we're doing now. Grease Monkey's rookie mistake. Don't get antsy. I'm coming to you. That's what she said. All right. Well, thanks. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, we're not looting it right now. Not with that jug right there. Fuck that. I want to find allies in this town who will help us wipe out the blood plague. We can't do this shit alone. Nice. Hey, a vehicle. Repair kit, very nice. We're mechanics. Joanna. I'm teaching our newbie the ropes. It's a slow process. Joanna, talk about it. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. I got a feeling you and me can do business. So you're like a car mechanic or something? That's right. I want to set up shop. Really? Get some of the right here? Cars around here working again. Do wow. Right? You needed me to escort you outside your front door. All right. Oh, man, our truck is trashed. Let's That's the funny. Parts are still there. Hey, I found what you were looking for. All right. I appreciate that. Good to see you. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, it's tempting, but yeah, you know what? We're gonna need a lot of Molotovs when we start fighting play cards, provided we survive that hey long. There. So. Take a load off. Yeah, let's see. All right. <laughs> Not today. That won't work. So each of them tells me about a different enclave in the area. Uh -huh. And I have to go visit them. Okay, one, then. one of them will be dead, one of them will be hostile. They have nothing special for barter. Alright, let's go. We have two places we gotta visit, and they're not exactly close. That one is. That's right by my home. So if we keep looting, we can deposit there, and we'll drive back home this way. All right. Uh. Go in. Leave. I don't want to fucking die. Yeah, they kind of force you to go talk to those guys, even though it could get you killed. Alright, let's leave the area. Once we get a 50 caliber rifle, we can dominate those guys. Anyway, let's clean up our bags. charge me. Fair, huh? All right, we have to go forward, turn left at the pavement. God. But the car got pretty damaged. All right. I might be able to loot it while simultaneously avoiding the juggernaut. Where is he? 50 meters away. He's just patrolling, but he has actually surprisingly good eyesight, so I have to try to stay out of his line of sight, even at this distance. can be right there if I live long enough to make it Bingo. nice Look at that. I found my penis. Ooh. 
Which is actually kind of a funny joke because it's a 40 millimeter grenade, so I just pretty much said I have a 40 millimeter penis. Ooh, M17. That's beautiful. Semi-auto fire, uh, a lot of sway. They're pretty much the same, but this one does have a larger bullet capacity. Alright. Uh, how do we unequip the mod? There we go. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. We can now have another outpost. All right. All right, let's get some distance. Zeds are coming in hot to where we parked our car. All right. Let's loot our first corpse. Equip that. Take the rest. That's a lot of crap to haul around. Is that one of the lootable zombies? It might be. Let's go find out. Yep. Oh, buddy, a sidearm shotgun. Very useful against ferals. But we got to deposit and then come back. Ugh, we're pretty full up right now. All right, we're going to drop these. Stackable, non-stackable. Same thing. All right. Okay. Oh shit, they're a fucking Zed. Uh huh. All right, we were able to enrich ourselves quite a bit coming here. Now we got to help them out. Heading your way. Nothing better. Try to stop me. Super. Much appreciated. Well, time for me to move on. If you ever end up over in Trumbull, feel free to stop by. Holy shit. Alright, our car's on fire, but it's not about to blow up yet. I don't think. That's good news. This one could be dangerous. Be careful out there. Sure thing. All right. We made it home safely. We can repair the car, gas it up. The necessary shit. Look at that, guys. Our car is not on fire anymore. Alright, I better take inventory, though. I need to see how many repair kits I actually have left. Hey, sexy. Hello. Alright, we got two tool kits and two cans of gas. It's not, it's not bad, you yeah? know? 
All right. A well-oiled machine just started. Facilities are quieter. Food production facilities provide more food and meds. And we can craft things with fewer parts and materials than we normally would require. All right. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. So you found my breadcrumbs, huh? I gotta rest. Can't leave him twitching. Damn, you're an absolute unit. You're in charge. All right, let's get you back home then. What I tell you, safe and sound. I owe you. Sure, anytime. Good to see you live, buddy. Come in. Hey, look at that. They're all friendly now. They're no longer the assholes down the street. Wonderful. Good to see you. So, you ready to start dealing? Yeah. No 50 cal, no suppressor, but that's all right. Oh, yeah, I leveled up. Scouting. Oh, definitely stealth. Yes. If I take out the nearest plague heart, this should clear up. All right. So nice to see you. It doesn't look like they have anything exceedingly useful. The fuel bombs have utility, definitely, but you can craft those in bulk. Uh, you know, pretty early on. I would love to search that trailer park, but with that jug there, I don't know. Oh, shit. Our neighbors just stole every scrap of medicine we had. How are we supposed to put up with this? I hate this job. I'm getting this shit underway right fucking now. What this town needs is law and order. We can't stand by and watch bullshit like this happen. Fighting hostile enclaves before you have a 50 cal? Like, sure, it's it's possible. It's even easy, but anything can go wrong, right? Oh, you guys are the ones who stole the meds. All right. Let's do that now before we forget. Did you hear? We just got robbed. Yeah, I heard. Uh, that they're practically giving away those 30 rounds. I'm going to take them. I'm sorry. I have been Now that's using your head. You can try to talk to them, but they're going to attack you anyway. The only difference is you get a free rucksack of meds and the other person who's with you will die. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So, let's go. Not today, Juggy. Alright, so she drops the meds, I pick them up, and then this poor lady is going to die. What the fuck? This is not fucking happening! Hey, that's one of them killed. 
Look at that, the zombies are doing our job for us. We just gotta hope they keep doing it. Oh, that's glitchy. They're supposed to get downed. Fuck. I'm beat. Got her. It's two down, one to go. Oh my god. Holy I shit. I almost got pumped full of lead. Alright. He's still chasing. Ass. Yeah, the Zeds are working on it. It's dangerous, but there's tactics. You know, like everything else, there's usually a safe way and a stupid way. And you can try to do it the safe way. I just wish I brought more ammo. He'd be dead by now. Ooh. Got him. Haha, and we got our uh, hero skill. Alright. Let's grab the most valuable shit, and then we'll get out of here. Alright. Alright. And we'll drop these, so we can take something better. Yes, and that's an ultralight backpack. We'll drop the chip so we can take it. We greatly enriched ourselves, and we defeated our first hostile enclave by utilizing the infected to our advantage. Not the safest thing in the world, and we could have died, in fact, should have died at a couple of situations there, but... Well, we made it. I personally feel like that guy not shooting us is the reason why we lived. You remember when he was right behind us? Either way. We came out on top, it's time to go home. And then we have to break the bad news to the lady who's part of the Enclave, and we'll offer for her to join us. And if she's too strong, we will exile her. We gotta go back. We left a meds rucksack there. Alright, we're gonna go back right away. Bandage. Reload. <clears throat> Gas can. Toolkit. Yeah, we gotta go back there. There it is. The loot we left behind. Got it.
these plague hearts makes my lungs burn. All right, we're gonna have to pull over somewhere and fill up our car, repair it too. These guys will protect us. Wow. Alright. Okay, our car is back in tip-top condition again. Let's return these meds and offer for that person to join our community. We need a fourth person in order to claim Rusty Rosie's anyway. But if she's too powerful, then we'll have to get rid of her. Oh, shit. All right. We're entering the boundaries of a new play card, so this one is not almost awake. If you need a new home, you could come live with us. 130 stamina, eh? Get your butt to my base. Tell him I sent you. All right, let's get home. Good to be part of the team. Mm -hmm. Let's get the hell out of here. Really? That is so annoying. All right, I guess we're gonna have to kill that plague heart or die trying. I need a break. Here's your care package. Infesting hordes are already mobilizing. We can't go much longer without someone in charge. I agree. All right. Uh. Uh. You know what? Let's switch to Sonya. See where she is. All right. She's here. We don't have to worry about her like dying on the road to this place. She'll equip the shotgun, deposit the rest. She already came with a hiking bag, and let's take a look here. So, she has 30 max stamina, uh, but the easy solution is I'm just not going to fucking use her. Uh, I can't utilize her for anything, not with that max stamina. She's basically just a live-at-home person, and the moment I've moved into Rusty Rosie's, we will get rid of her. Solution. Which is really, really psychopathic to say, but uh, it's what we're doing. We have rules to live by, so. And this shit doesn't count. Like, if we have additional stamina from our cardio level or whatever, or discipline, like, that's, that's kind of different. All right. All right. Well, it all comes down to this, right? We have to try to take this thing on. Got no way around it. I gotta make this quick. I gotta catch my breath. All right, bail. Way too hot. Oh, come on. My shit wouldn't work. Alright, whatever. Not a good start. Not gonna lie, pretty shitty start. I can't keep swinging this thing. It is definitely risky to engage in this battle now. All right.
We're gonna have to bring some heals. Oh. And let's not forget to check him in. Ah, I feel like shit. Better get fixed up. And we're gonna craft a vial of plague cure. And we're gonna bring it with us. She's got it. Why do I always find the ugly ones? All right, let's go. The house still seems clear from our last visit. Okay, let's do it. coming doesn't seem like it no. No. all right the screamer is far okay let's do this As you can see, my aim is terrible, but I still don't stand on top of cars. It's just way too disrespectful, I suppose. All right, here we go. Time to finish it. Did it. We've corrected our mistake. Not bad. Alright, we're gonna go home, we're gonna deposit, and then we're gonna come back here, loot this place, and then go home, and we'll be done for the day. Oh, shit! Way too fast. Alright, I gotta lose the Zeds if I'm gonna fight him. Look at how fast they are, though. They're just on me. One more shot. You motherfucker. We got a bail. Go. Holy fuck. Bye -bye. Well, guys, I tried. <laughs> Bravery was attempted. All right. Oh, Christ. Yeah, we need a cure. We got one. Boom. 
this out for you. Okay. And now we have the samples required to make more cures, so we'll do that right away. That was fucking intense. As you can see, like, you can fight a feral even when you're surrounded by zombies, but you know what I really needed? I needed a Molotov. Those regular fucking zombies chasing you down like that, that's the most annoying part. But if you can just burn them all up and diminish their numbers, it becomes much easier to handle. But I didn't have a Molotov. Anyway, we get to live. It's better than nothing. I don't know, maybe it despawned or something. I did leave it half dead. Nice chemistry book is very valuable. I'll feel bad about that when I have time later. I'm not going to find anything else here. Take the knife, and we're good to go. As you saw, my first instinct when that feral showed up was not to just hop on top of my fucking car like a pansy, right? There is no good reason to play this game like that. You're never going to get better if you degrade yourself with such dishonorable conduct, you know what I mean? As bad as I am at aiming, I would be much worse if I didn't take every opportunity to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a feral. Instead of just standing on my car and shooting it in the head three times with a crossbow. Alright. Now, let's equip this gun on her. And... He's still getting treatment. We can't use Sonya and Garrett's tired. So it looks like we're just going to have to use Kate for a while when we come back. Alright. Now, if we want to save the game, all we have to do is switch characters and then switch back. Which we'll do. We're going to need to install this bike in order to upgrade the command center to level 3. So we'll install it. And switch back to Kate. And the game just saved. Alright, guys. I want to thank you so much for choosing to spend this time here with me today. It means the world to me that you have, and I hope that you're enjoying this journey. And uh, I hope that you're looking forward to trying this game yourself. Watching me play it can only get you so far. Buddy, It, when you're in this world, in this hell, it just hits different. Anyway, uh, don't forget to check the pinned comment down below for the word of the day in a health cookie. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care, rock on, and peace out, my friends. Later.